Hi guys and welcome back to yet another Giant Plants vs Zombies 2 China update. I appreciate I'm a little bit late on this one, but better late than never. So let's jump straight into some new plants. We have one completely new one as well as some returning ones from the international version of PVC 2. So this one is Gorgon Pitcher, which if you haven't realized from the snakes on its head is based on Medusa. This plant has two attacks. In its basic attack, it fires snake spirits from long range, which do damage to zombies. However, these can actually be turned poisonous if the spirit passes through a poisonous plant. So when this happens, the snake spirit will change visual appearance. It'll have a green sort of smoke around it. And when it hits a zombie, that zombie will inherit that effect. However, what this can also do is it can jump and spread to other zombies on different lanes. If you haven't guessed already, the second ability will turn zombies into stone. So when the Gorgon pitcher glows, it means it's ready to do this attack. Attack. So this attack can be activated manually by just pressing on the plant and it will do the attack or if a zombie gets too close that will also activate it. The plant will need to recharge after this attack has been done so it won't shoot during this time. The zombies are permanently turned into stone and they will act like gravestones and will remain on the field until they are destroyed. However they can be destroyed by grave buster, just normal damage or you can use bamboo trooper who does extra damage to these graves. When plant food is activated it unleashes a more powerful stone ability affecting zombies in a cone radius roughly three by three. The costume ability for this plant increases the area of that plant food attack I just explained and on the tier abilities there are a couple of minor ones but the ones worthy of note is there's a chance of the plant food ability activating when planted and in its final tier it has the chance to petrify multiple zombies during its basic stone attack and in turn the additional petrify zombies will have lower health and this petrify can affect higher leveled zombies. The two other new plants are from the international version of PVZ2 and they work pretty much the same way as they do in the other game. For example the only difference is with Meteor Flower is its costume ability which increases the amount of meteors and its additional tiered abilities that include things like a chance to activate plant food on planting and a chance to summon planetary meteors which can knock back zombies, bundle them all together Together, roll and explode. Electric Vine is being added as part of all of the vines being ported across from the international version to the China version. This is a similar story to Meteor Flower. Its abilities are pretty much the same as its international counterpart, apart from its costumed ability, which allows the electricity that is fired in the plant food attack to go through multiple zombies. And then we have its tiered abilities, which include some awesome things like, again, being able to activate plant food on planting and every few shots the vine will release a purple paralyzing shot that will stun zombies that's if it gets to its max tier all new plants come with their corresponding costumes and can be obtained in limited time events next up we have a new event and secret world so this is like the fairy tale world so we have the children's day secret world so this runs from june the 1st until june the 21st this works like all of the other events you can play through multiple levels they have a normal difficulty and a hard difficulty mode you will earn ice creams for completing levels and these can then be used to unlock rewards the reward system kind of works like a battle pass each time you get an ice cream you'll unlock the next tier as well as a new backyard the main mechanic in this world is the ice cream trucks so these are big trucks that will occasionally appear on the lawn and they work kind of like the barrel roller zombies and will take up two lanes crushing all plants in its path. When destroyed, two zombies will pop out. The type of zombies will depend on the level of the truck. This world also has a new boss, the Bumper Car Zombie, who has multiple abilities. When it first appears on the lawn, it will use a dash. It dashes forwards and destroys the first plant it gets to. It will then return to its original position. It can also do random collision. So when it gets on its bumper car, it can drive randomly diagonally across the lawn, destroying any plant that it hits. It also has a crazy spin, kind of like the Jester Zombie. It will change lanes whilst 
it does this and whilst it is spinning it will deflect any physical shots. A new season of two player mode has arrived running from June the 5th to July the 1st. The only new thing here is that power vines can now be used in this mode. A new activity interface has now been implemented into the game which is now more aesthetically pleasing. It's easier and clearer to see the different rewards however it's still not the easiest to get to as you have to wait for the scrolly thing down at the bottom left to get to the main event else it doesn't pop up in the new menu. Very strange but there you go. There's also a couple of new plant families. We have the sportsman family and the scream family. On to gene editing. 10 new genes have been added for a number of plants. This includes stuff like increasing fire pea shooters damage and squash not disappearing after its first attack. Take a look at the article in the description if you want to learn more. Finally, we have a list of about 30 bug fixes. There's nothing really to note in here. Nothing drastic has been changed, but there are just a lot of small bugs being squished, which should hopefully just improve your overall experience, even though you probably won't notice them. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for another PVC2 China update. I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. But other than that, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons, turn on notifications, and if you would like to support the channel further check out my patreon page by clicking on screen or through the link in the description okay thanks guys bye bye